Welcome back to Let's Play No One Lives Forever 2, A Spy in Harm's Way. I am Logotaro X13, and, uh, and uh, we are in Siberia. Uh, I noticed that I missed to place a bomb underneath the bridge. That has been corrected. I went back there and fixed it. I also lowered the volume of the... Uh, of the, the snowmobile because I noticed when I rendered the video it was very very obnoxiously loud and actually before we continue any further I should point out that we have exactly one magazine in spare and we do have our 32 caliber handgun which we should probably reload we have now a full magazine and almost a full magazine in spare. Uh, we have the AK-47, we also picked up a hand grenade last episode, which funnily enough is like reddish pink color. We also have the coin, the welder and the lockpick, so that is our equipment right now. We also have um, uh, actually, we have 10 Phosphorus rounds for this, and um, we're only going to use the uh, regular ones for now. Um, what we're going to do now is uh, uh, to uh, sweep this place, try to find um, where we're supposed to go. Hopefully, we won't run into any guards along the way, uh, but you know, I don't know if we will. This looks like an absolute shortcut. This is a fucking shortcut. I just absolutely know it. Or not. Maybe it's just a cool jump. And that's a Soviet soldier. I was thinking... Maybe we could... Uh, yes, that's absolutely fantastic. Now let's silence the other one. Seems to be an officer. They might have both been officers. We found another grenade and we found a pocket knife. Before we search this other guy, I just want to uh, rank up a bit, shall we? Search. I want to rank up thoroughness and uh, wow. Okay, so we have 2,000 skill points. What we could do now is um, use our um, uh, what is it now? The uh, Weapons, maybe. Proficiency. That, that's really good. We are doing shit damage right now. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. And um, yes. And we found a spy training manual as well. So that, you know, it's always welcome. So, um, two new snowmobiles. I probably should equip the AK 47 just to have it out. Um, did we actually search? No, we didn't. Or, we actually, we... I think we did. No, we didn't. We found light body armor. That's what we need, exactly what we need. See, doing those little upgrades and stuff, it really helps. It's uh, very, very useful. Um, so, let's continue along the way these wonky snowmobile controls and uh, another bridge. There's another snowmobile, I don't know why it's here. It's probably here for a purpose. Oh, it might be because this is 
probably. Oh yeah! It is! It's a snowmobile jump! And we made it. This should be the way to the cabin then. We're going to pick up our sniper rifle. Um, yes. It's going to be great. Uh, so, where is this bloody cabin? Oh my god, I was so sure that we were gonna... Okay, we're here, we're at the cabin. Tip over these fucking bottles. Or no, actually not, I'm not sure, but this should be the cabin that we were supposed to get to. I can't see any door, probably, oh, it's, it's right there, I'm fucking blind. Um, I actually imagine that I'd be able to like uh, that I'd have to lock pick it but uh, apparently not it's just open so that everyone including Soviet soldiers can come and get the sniper rifle and read our secret messages so we got a skill point reward uh, we're gonna pick up this which is an angry kitty that's gonna be really useful we're gonna pick up this unity headquarters Branch 11, Department C or G, I'm not sure. Confidential document for eternal use only. Like always. Agent Archer, please find the supplies our agent left for you. When you've completed your objectives, return here and radio headquarters. You'll want to wait for dark before proceeding to the military compound center. I'm gonna pick this up. It's the first aid kit. And we can't actually pick it up. And here's a toy box, I think, uh, with um, the hammer and sickle on it. Here's a sniper rifle and body armor, which we don't need. I believe this heavy body armor gets us up to pretty much full armor. This is the sniper rifle, which is really cool. We also get the bear traps, which are hilarious, by the way. Um, let's check out the sniper rifle. Now this, some of you may call this very, uh, let's see here, what's the word? Uh, oh, we probably should not waste our ammunition, we only have a magazine left. But uh, this is very anachronistic, uh, considering this sniper rifle is uh, a um, rifle that was not around in the 1960s. Uh, now this is a... Uh, what's it called again? I think it's the uh, Scout, uh, which is uh, from Steyr. I think it's Steyr SSG-9 or something like that, or SG-9, whatever. Something like that, okay? And, uh, yes, I think, I think that is the uh, rifle's name. I'm unsure of where to go right now. I honestly have no idea. Um, I think we're supposed to go back, maybe? Probably where we're supposed to go. That that sign probably says Com Tower uh, in um, some weird symbolic way. This is also the point where we have to get off our snowmobile and trek the uh, rest of the way. Uh, yes, this seems to be the new area, in fact. Krogs Omega, the power station. Yes, 
this is the power station. We're supposed to um, put explosives here. Let's quickly check the map and um, here we go. Oh, the power station is actually something else. It is actually something else. Um, the power station and the comm tower are separate. That's cool. That's cool. And uh, now, what do we have here? Little bunny. I'm. I fear that there are Soviet guards. I just had my my fears absolutely confirmed. These are Soviet guards, and. Uh, They are right here, absolutely right here. And, uh, well, we killed him. We found a broken rubber band, so much for the upgrade, huh? Uh, but, um, in case of other Soviet guards, I'm gonna keep this utility launcher out. the pack of breath mints again. <laughs> uh, in case of patrols, um, oh that's just a bunny. In case of patrols, uh, I am actually going to uh, move his body out of the way, uh, which you should always do, really. Uh, that's probably part of the reason why they discovered all of the bodies. I, I can't have that. Not that either, you know, I'm a perfectionist. Ah, well, that'll have to do, we'll say he lost his arm or something. Um, now we have three rounds left for this. Um, not very nice, and we're getting a hell of a amount of lag. Which is not very nice. Uh, so, uh, what do we have to do here, you may ask? Well... This is the power station, or it should be somewhere around here. <gasps> and there. We'll be part of the Soviet Union. Last year for holiday, they sent me to Murmansk. At least I got Minsk. A dream of being sent to Minsk. I don't remember what it's like to go to bed without wearing a jacket. Something's wrong here. Feeling sleepy. Now, a headshot should do. And I love those little conversations that they have between each other, the uh, Soviet soldiers. They're really funny. And uh, we got the tranquilizer back, which is good. And um, we found another grenade. Small bandage, which we can't use, unfortunately. No! <laughs> oh my fucking god! We actually almost burned ourselves to death there. I was not expecting that. I really wasn't expecting that. Now, what are we going to do? Wow. The music in this is so absolutely awesome to just hum along to. Okay. You know what I think? I think it's time to end the episode and uh, we'll take care of this station here another time. Yes, so I will uh, see you later. This has been very fun. Uh, have a nice day.